All right, good evening, everyone. We'll take questions for Avalanche defenseman Kale McCarr. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Kale, your guys' uh, power play got off to a fast start tonight. What did you think of, of your special team's performance? Yeah, I thought it, uh, like you said, it got off to a good start. Um, we were able to get some pucks to the net, and I thought we were getting good chances even on the other power plays just from the flanks and stuff like that. So um, I think we're just going to have to keep um, using, playing to our strengths, especially on our power play against these guys, and um, try to expose them in areas that they're kind of not ready for on the PK. So, Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Kale, obviously, you know, don't want to see guys like Graves and, and Gerard go down. How difficult is it adjusting that third period to playing with only four defensemen? Yeah, obviously, you don't want to see those guys go down. We we obviously need them. Um, they're very key players for us. Obviously, G um, eats an incredible amount of minutes, and then um, Gravy's just a super steady guy for us. But, um, no, I mean, Taser and I joked about it on the bench, it, basically back to Pee Wee days, rolling 4D, so... Um, no, we just short shifts is the kind of the key thing. And we just wanted to make sure that um, we weren't getting too tired and um, keep the tempo high. But at the same time, like do our job out on the ice and make sure that we can uh, still move pucks out of our end and get it up to the forwards. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Yeah, retaliation in hockey is one of, you know, the things that comes with the game. And seeing Nathan McKinnon drop the gloves is obviously something we don't see every day. Uh, my question is actually a two-parter. What are your thoughts of Nathan going in there and fighting Kevin LeBanc? And number two, do you think any of this carries over into the game tomorrow night? Yeah, um, number one, obviously, um, somebody's got to answer the bell, and uh, Nate was there, and, and he did that. And uh, I think it just shows the, the commitment that we have to each other on this team. And um, obviously, Nate stepped in and um, did a, got the job done for us. And um, I, I, in terms of your second question, obviously it's going to be a physical game tomorrow. Um, who knows if tensions are going to boil over um, right at the beginning or not, but we have to be prepared for anything. And um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a psychic, so I don't really know that, but um, yeah. Evan Rall, DNVR. Hey, Kale, I wanted to ask you about Connor Timmons. Uh, I know you play with him a little bit in juniors, but or uh, world juniors, but I know he's uh, he, it looks like a lot more confident the last five games since coming back up. What have you seen from him in these last five games? Yeah, I think Timmy's just getting more confident with the puck. Um, he, he's being put in roles where um, he's getting getting ice time where he, he can produce offensively, and he had a, he had some great chances tonight and a few bad bounces. But you no, know, you can definitely tell he's getting more comfortable. And um, obviously, he's a he's a great demon for us, and we're going to need him. So um, no, it's awesome to see that he's uh, he's getting comfortable. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Kale, just quick thoughts about. Seeing the uh, three-game losing streak end, obviously it wasn't a big one, but it was something that you guys were unused to. I'm sure that you uh, are glad to see that end. Yeah. Um, obviously, you don't want to lose games. Uh, but I think for us, we went through stints in all those games where we, we were at the top of our game, and it just it fell into inconsistent play, and um, whether it was just bounces or not going our way. But I think – um, for us, it was just getting back to our game tonight. I touched on it after the first period. It's just for us uh, making sure that we get in hard on the forecheck and um, make, making sure that we get on their, their D early. But um, overall, I think uh, hopefully we can get back on track here. And like you said, it's obviously not fun losing three games in a row. So. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Yeah, it seemed like a few guys were slipping and falling tonight. Uh, was the ice a little tougher than normal tonight? Uh, I, I liked the ice tonight. I don't know if it was just my blades. I didn't, I didn't change them tonight, but um, yeah, maybe they just, a few guys caught some edges or whatnot, but um, the, the ice felt pretty good to me. Last one here for Kale, Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. I wanted to ask about Groovy. Guy hasn't played in two weeks and he throws a shutout. Yeah, it's Groovy. Groovy's uh, always unbelievable for us, um, regardless of the break. He was working hard to get back in physical shape if he was even out of it. So um, he, he, he's our backbone of our team, and he played incredible for us tonight. And uh, other than the one unlucky little, or I guess the lucky offside there, but um, no, he played uh, incredible. All right. Thank you, Kale. Thank you. All right. We'll take questions for Avalanche goaltender Philip Grubauer. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. 
Philip, congratulations on the victory and the shutout. I just wanted your thoughts on coming back to the lineup. Obviously, having an 18-day break is not something that you've really been used to this past uh, three or four months. Yeah, felt like it's been a long time since I played again. Um, obviously, first period, I felt a little rusty. Um, practices are limited, too. So, um, yeah, it was was a tough one in the first one for me. Got better in the second and third one, I felt back uh, back to 100% in normal. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Philip. I, I wanted to ask, I guess, what was that time off like? If, if you don't mind saying, like, were you dealing with any any symptoms or anything? And just, just how did it feel to get back out there this past, past week or so? Yeah, it's uh, hard to tell on the symptoms. We got the vaccine at the same time. So um, it kind of overlapped a little bit. Um, didn't have anything crazy, just a couple uh or like little chills like for a couple hours but um nothing nothing major so yeah obviously the time at home and watching the boys play on the road sucks um but there's nothing you can do um we want to stay safe and um obviously that's a that's the protocol but once you're back like uh i was happy to be uh joining the boys on the road and uh getting back on the ice and and getting work in to find my way back so lauren jabara altitude sports Hey, Philip, I know last time, you know, with the COVID break, I, I asked you, there's nothing like simulating shots being a goalie. Did you use that computer simulation or how do, how do you kind of, you know, stay sharp with those reflexes in a situation like that? Yeah, I mean, you can practice as much as you want um, out there with, with the guys. But once you come in or get into a game, it's a totally different story, like uh, physical shape. And um, obviously game shape is a little bit different than practice. So um i had to get used to tracking the puck again and get my eyes and ha uh, hand coordination uh going again but yes i, I used the simulator at home for for a little while and uh helps a lot to use it all right thank you philip appreciate yeah. it thanks all right we'll take questions for avalanche head coach jared bednar lauren jabara altitude sports hey jared before i get into you know the hockey questions is there any update on on sam gerard or ryan graves no and you guys needed a big response from, you know, those three games on the road. What, what did you think about, you know, your team's performance here tonight, pulling out a three nothing victory? I thought we checked really well and special teams were uh, outstanding. Yeah. Both power play gets us two. you know, first power play right away. We get two really good looks in the first, probably 25 seconds of the power play score on our, on our um, third opportunity. And then we get another power play not too long after that. We're skating. Um, they take a penalty on us, and we had two more really good looks, and we scored on our third opportunity on that second one too. So that gets us a lead. Um, and even the last couple of power plays, we had some some real good uh, opportunities, um, good zone time, uh, kept them hemmed in there. And uh, the penalty kill was outstanding as well too. Their, their best power plays and. We gave up uh, a couple chances in in the third period when we got those penalties and uh, Grooby when we had, when we gave up a chance Grooby was strong especially on the low jam play uh, and rebound right at the top of the crease he was great he was square and he gobbled it up and didn't give him any secondary opportunities so um, but I, I would say five on five I, I liked our, our checking we were skating we were getting back in the zone our breakouts were really good. Um, didn't spend a lot of time down there. We had a couple extended shifts in the in the second, um, maybe one or two in the first, and one or two in the third, and that's it. Five on five. So I liked what we did there. Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Hey Jared. Um, obviously, with with Graves and Gerard out for most of the fourth, and Graves for most of the game, Nemeth and Timmons got some extended minutes. How did you think they played in in that extra time? Well, I thought Timmons was great tonight. Um, firm with the puck, didn't have any turnovers. Um, pretty good against the rush. Uh, again, fits into the to everyone else on our team. I thought they did a nice job checking. Um, Nemo was really solid down low in the D zone. Heavy player. Um, struggled with the with the puck a little bit and up ice uh, neutral zone and trying to advance us out of our zone into the offensive zone. He made some nice plays down low below the goal line where he gets heavy and pops a puck to our guys, uh, but he struggled a little bit with his with, with his puck play. Um, 
from the blue line out. So uh, Sari, he'll have to improve. He's a little rusty right now. Um, we'll show him some video and bring him up. But, um, you know, some of the things you expect Nemo to do is really good at. Huge block in the third period on the penalty kill um, for a clear and, and, and some of those things down around the net that go unnoticed. He was really strong. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, uh, you've said in the past that Nathan McKinnon fighting is not something you necessarily want to see, but considering kind of what happened there with the hit behind the net, is that something that was acceptable or is that something you want to see your, your, your star player doing? It's always acceptable. I mean, <laughs> I just don't want him to get hurt doing it, you know? So uh, he goes in, sticks up for a teammate. Um, I've come to expect that from him. He's a highly competitive guy. I didn't like the hit, I didn't either. And he's on the ice, so he jumps in there and takes exception to it. So, I mean, it, to me, it's always acceptable um, as long as he doesn't get hurt doing it. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Jared, did you think that the, it was more – it was a hit by LeBanc on uh, Gerard, or did, do you think he may have lost an edge? It seemed hard to tell for me, but I don't know what you thought. Yeah, I'd have to look at it again. I just, I just don't like when you when you got a guy going into the boards full speed and you. Um, I don't think it was a hit. I, I just think when you when you go in there with your stick in his legs, and then his legs come out and he goes full speed into the end boards. I mean that's, it's not a safe play. It's not it's not a smart play. It's not something we want our guys doing. And I think you look at that and, I mean. You, you can't argue that it sticks in, in Gerard's feet. And um, so I didn't like the non-call. Um, we'll, we'll survive the non-call as long as um, Gerard's able to come back and play. That's that's my concern. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, I also wanted to – you mentioned Kiefer Sherwood this morning. What specific things have stood, about, stood out about his game lately? Yeah, same – I think he's played the same all five games. I've liked him in every single game. He's heavy, loud player, in hard on the four check, physical at all times, and smart with the puck. Um, he has the puck over the red line. It's down below their goal line. He's ready to go check it back. Um, real good defending details. He's, he's had good vision. He's had some opportunities to score. He's made some plays for to set up his line mates. Um, great all around game. Um, again tonight, and that and that's I don't even know if it's a four or five in a row for him now that, that I, I feel like he's been outstanding. We'll take one more here for Jared. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Jared, how much do you think uh, Rantanen and Donskoy uh, sp sparked that power play, especially in the first period there? A oh, huge impact. I mean, huge impact. Both those guys have been exceptional in their position on that power play. I mean, we know the year Miko's having, Don Skoy obviously gets overshadowed a little bit by those other three guys or four guys on that power play, but he's a, he's a key piece to it. He's always in great support, helping us retrieve pucks, relieve pressure, um, makes a lot of eyes up plays to the to the open man. And he's moving around in there and becoming a shooter. He has a couple looks tonight um, in traffic. I mean, he, he's a big piece of it. it that, that power play is, you know, works better with the righty in there, um, especially on a night like tonight. Teams, what when the puck goes to kill McCarr, teams are, are leaking out of the middle of the ice to go cover uh, Nate. And lots of times they do that with their forwards like they did tonight. It just opens other things up on the other side of the ice for Miko to use Donskoy or Landy down low and then come to the net. And um, so, so it gives us a lot of options there, especially when it's a righty because he's on his one-time side if you use Miko. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thank you.